Breaking news. Here is the headline. Deeply disturbing and unacceptable. Obi condemns detention of investigative journalists. Deeply disturbing and unacceptable. Obi condemns detention of investigative journalists. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned and ensure and ensure you like, subscribe, and share. Now the details. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, Peter Lobby, has criticized the persistent harassment of journalists in Nigeria by the authorities. According to Lobby, the federal government's trend of using security and intelligence agencies to arrest and detain investigative journalists could push the country towards becoming a banana republic. Recall that the Nigerian Police Force, NPF, confirmed the arrest of Bristol, Tamano Biafiri, also known as Pidum, who runs the anonymous whistleblower account on X.com with the username at 99% oppressed, Pidum Nigeria. In a statement on Friday, Four spokesperson Muyuwa Adejobi revealed that Pidom was arrested on August 5 in his hotel room in Rivers for committing serious offenses that undermine the integrity of government operations. Reacting, Obi, in a statement on his ex account on Tuesday, called on the National Assembly to urgently enact a Freedom of Information Act that would guarantee the right of Nigerians to access information. The fundamental right to free speech is inextricably linked to the right to access information about government activities and decision-making. The alarming trend of government agents suppressing information unrelated to national security law interest underscores the, underscores the urgent need for the Freedom of Information Bill. Citizens rely on journalists and the media to hold those power accountable, particularly when government error or overreach. Investigative journalists who play a crucial role in uncovering truth are protected by the laws that guide and protect freedom of expression in a democracy. It is therefore deeply disturbing and unacceptable that Nigerian investigative journalists have of late been subjected to harassment, abduction, detention, and other dra draconian measures by agents of the government. The former governor of Anambra State urged the federal government to release Pidom arrested by the police last week and emphasized the need for an open society where citizens can exercise their rights to free speech. He wrote, The disappearance and detention of Pidom Nigeria, a journalist, is a grave concern Nigerian authorities must be held accountable for his whereabouts and any alleged wrongdoing. If such actions continue, 
Nigerian risk degenerating into the Banana Republic, where journalists are silenced or simply disappear for simply doing their job. This is not the Nigeria we want or deserve. We demand justice, accountability, and an end to these egregious attacks on press freedom. We seek an open society in which citizens express themselves freely, have access to unclassified information, and in which government is fully accountable to the citizens. These are the minimum requirements of the new society we seek will be added. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, let's move down to the comment. Let's see what people have to say. The first comment I have to say is they said Unam Dekanu is the problem. They said they weren't under military regime. They used military constitutions and rules. Where is the freedom of speech under democracy? Why are they so in hurry to arrest or look up innocent people they should listen to and award for their good works? Let them keep Tinubu there for eight years, but I tell you nothing will change. Your constitution should be amended to tally with the democracy they just, that, just, that they claimed to be practicing, if not injustice goes on. Another comment here says, Should there not be investigation into the case because the suspect is a journalist? These politicians are very funny, always making a storm out of a teacup. Even one is reasonably suspected of committing any crime. The, the person should be invited to explain his or her own side of the story. The person's rights should be respected and not be held unnecessarily if the person is innocent. And a last comment for today's news says, I told Nigerians that, as you are due, political criminals shouldn't come to president. Those criminals, Yoruba aid. Yoruba is our number one problem. 